Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to set up our Next.js 14 project with MongoDB and Mongoose. So in case if you don't know, MongoDB is a NoSQL database and Mongoose is an ODM object document mapper. In simple words, Mongoose will allow us to interact with our database with much more easily. Now setting up Next.js project with MongoDB and Mongoose can be a little bit tricky, especially with the app router but I'm going to try to simplify everything for you. All the command and the code can be found on my blog. The link will be on the description. So first let's set up our database. So just follow the link or go to account.mongodb.com and here you'll be asked to create an account or login. I'm going to log in with my Google account. Now, once you have created an account, you will be asked to create an organization. So an organization can have many projects. So create an organization. I'm going to choose this one. And now you will need to create a new project. So let's create one. I'm going to name it next Mongo. YT. So next, I don't want any member, create project. So now let's hit create. So we are going to use the free tier and the cloud providers will be AWS. And I'm going to keep everything as default. You can rename the cluster name, but you cannot change the cluster name once it is created. So let's create. And you need to add your username and some password. So create user. You will be asked to add an IP address. Your IP address will be added already, but I want to access it from anywhere. So I'm going to put 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and entry. And finish and close. And go to overview. Now let's add data. So first we need to create our database. We have just created a cluster. We haven't created a database yet. So let's create one. So for the database name, I'm going to call it just posts and collection name will be also posts. And let's create database. So our post collection and the post database is created. And now we need a database connection stream. We can go to overview, I guess. Uh, not overview. Let's click on this overview section. So use the connect button and drivers. And here is the connection stream that we need. But before that, we need to create a new Nexus project. You can create a brand new Next.js project with NPX Create Next app. I have already created a brand new Next.js project. During the setup, you can keep everything as default, but make sure you have selected app router, not the pages router. Now we need to create a new file, .env.local. And let's copy this connection stream. Let's give it a name, Mongo URI. In the connection stream, you need to replace this password placeholder with your database password, not your MongoDB account password. And after mongodb.net slash, you need to give the database name that you want to connect. In my case, it is posts. And make sure you don't share this connection string, your database username password with anyone. I'm going to delete the database anyway. So let's close the file. Now we need to install the Mongo's dependency. You can install it using npm install mongoose. Okay, so now we need to create a file that we will use to connect to our database. So inside the source directory, I'm going to create a lib directory and then 
pv.js file and here I'm going to paste the code this piece of code so basically we're getting this environment variable the connection string and then we have a function called TV connect and this TV connect function will connect our Nexus project to our database but it will only send a connection request if there is no connection established yet you don't want to push multiple connection requests to a database so we are caching the connection and also if the connection is successful we will console log TV connected text and finally we are just exporting this TV connect function I've got this code from Nextjs example repositories, so I didn't run this code. Now that we have this TV Connect function, the next question is where do we call this function? Because it's a tricky question in Nextjs. You want to establish a database connection right after you have started the server. You would normally do that in the entry file in a Node.js project, but in Nextjs it's different because all the pages files and the API routes file are specific to some pages or API routes. You might say, why don't we just call it on the layout.js file? Well, I agree, but for some reason, this doesn't work. On the first try, you will get an error, but on the second try, it works. So how do we solve this problem? Uh, there are two ways to solve this. So let me show you the first one. The first solution would be to use an experimental feature from Nextjs, which is instrumentation. So instrumentation is just the process of using code to integrate monitoring and logging tools to your application. So in simple words, it will allow us to execute some startup script right after we start our Nextjs server. And since it's a experimental feature, you need to enable it from the next config. So just copy this code and open up the next config file and here we need to paste the code. After that you need to create a instrumentation.js file inside the root of your project or if you're using a source directory like me then you need to create the file inside the source directory. So instrumentation.js and here I'm going to paste the code, this piece of code actually. So we have imported the connect method. This is an absolute import by the way. And we have exported this register function. And that function will be called after we start our server. And then we just call the connect method. So let's just run our dev server. And it says TV connected, which means that we have a successful connection with our database. So now that we have our database connection, let's interact with the database by adding and getting some data. So let's create a model. So models. And here I'm going to create a file, post.js. And I'm going to paste the code. Uh, here it is. So here we have our schema and then we are exporting the post model. We try to first check if the post model already created. If yes, then we are exporting that. Otherwise we are creating a new post model using that post schema. Let's go to the paste.js file and I'm going to delete everything. So let's just copy this code. So we have this form, we have an input for title and a description, then a submit button. And then I need to add type of submit. And we have this action prop with this add post function, which we haven't created yet. So let's create that. So this add post will be our server action. And I'm going to put that in a separate file. So actions and action.js. Let's copy the code from the blog.
So we have added this use server directive because we want a uh, server action and we have imported the post and exported a function called add post. This post variable is actually the form data from our input. So we are getting the title and the description value from the input. And then we have created a new post and saved that document. So let's try it out. So let's just go to localhost 3000. Oops, I have to import the add post function. And now we don't have any error. I'm going to zoom it for you. So let's add title. So title one. Text one. And let's hit submit. So now let's go to the database. Let's close it. Go to database. Browse collections. And now you can see we have a new document. I can add another one. So title two, text to submit. And let's refresh. And now we have two documents. So we have successfully added data. Now let's see how we can get the data. So inside that action.js file, I'm gonna add a new action. So in my blog, uh, this function, and let's export it. So let's go to paste.js file and let's just import the git post function. And let's get the post variable. So await get posts. And now let's just render them. And now let's console log. And here you see the array of documents. We have added two document. And on localhost, you see we have two documents rendered out. So we have successfully set up our Next.js project with MongoDB and Mongos. So let me show you the last way of calling the DB Connect function in case if you don't want to use instrumentation since it's an experimental feature. Now, like I mentioned, you would want to call the connect method right after you have started the Next.js server. But in Next.js, there isn't an indirect way of doing it outside of instrumentation. In that case, you would need to call the dbconnect function on every single page file and every single route file because you just don't know what page or what AP route will be accessed first by a user. So I can just turn off the instrumentation from the next config. And let's import the dbconnect function. And this should still work. Next.js has already restarted our server. So if I refresh, it should still work. As you can see, it's working. And on the terminal, you see the text DB connected. And like I mentioned, you have to call this uh, DB connect function on every single page and every single route. So suppose I kill the Next.js server and run it again. Now there isn't any database connection, but if I try to hit a API route, then I will get an error. So let's test that. I will create an API route. To create an API route, just go to the app directory and then create an API directory and inside route.js 
and let's export our function. And the function name will be the request method you want to use. So I'm going to use get method. And let's import the next response from next server. And let's get the data from post and return. Let's also import the post. So you don't see the DB connected text. So now if I go to localhost slash API, this shouldn't work. We should have an error. So as you can see, we have an error on the terminal. We have a, we have a timeout error because there is no connection yet. So you need to call the DB connect method because you don't know which API route or page will be accessed first. So now if I call the DB connect method, Now it should work. I will refresh. And now you see the data and also the DB connected test on the terminal. So these are the two ways you can connect your project with the MongoDB database. So that's it. This is how you can use Next.js with MongoDB and Mongoose. I will also put this repo on GitHub so you can use this as a starter code. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to use this blog for future reference. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as Daranjun, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.